everybody. Today I am at Kings Canyon with lots of sequoia trees. Look at these, all healthy and fallen. But today we're focusing specifically on these fallen trees. Hmm, you might notice something. They did not decay. Why? This still remains a mystery to me to find out. But while we're still talking about sequoia trees, Let's talk about their reproduction. Mm, okay, so first let me quiz you. What natural phenomenon will probably happen in forests in very dry weather? Yes, it is wildfires. But you might think wildfires mean harm. Actually, this means reproduction to these wonderful sequoia trees. How? Isn't it weird? It is weird, but it is very special and awesome if you think about it. So, these trees reproduce by seeds, which are in conifers or cones. These cones will fall off a tree and be everywhere. And look, there's one here. Now, inside these cones are going to be lots of seeds. And these seeds, how do they get out? Well, when the fire sweeps in, it breaks these shells, or cones, if you want to call them. And basically, it punctures a hole in the logs too sometimes. But these sequoia trees are very, 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 very thick. Their outer skin is probably equally thick as the redwoods. So the fire doesn't really do any harm to them. Maybe some limited, but anyway. These seeds, because the conifers or cones are open, these seeds all scatter out. And well, from the seeds, Boom, new conifers grow. How interesting. These trees have a very long lifetime and more trees are produced every single year because of these fires. Now you know more about a natural phenomenon and also more about sequoia trees and their reproduction. So, two things in one video.